am a visually impaired parent who has a student in the Cleveland School District who is now a soon senior at Toledo University. I also am a visually impaired person. I successfully worked with Mr. Henley on many, 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 many things in this district. What I would like to know, the parents have been disenfranchised. And my goal right now is to bring all of the parents together. That's all I want to do. No matter who the superintendent is or, 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 or CEO or whoever it may be. So I am in favor of committees. I am because I sat on those committees. I was responsible for the hiring and firing of teachers and administrators. So if what my question one in relating to the schools, if you are elected mayor of this city, number one, do you live in Cleveland? Very good. Will you insist that the faculty members and staff live in the city of Cleveland? Because how can they help our children if they don't know what our children are faced with in their communities on a daily basis? So one, will you insist that they live in Cleveland? And two, how will you bring parental involvement back? And my second question, and my second question is this, involving the visually impaired people in this city. We are senior citizens that are forgotten. My friends, they don't do anything. I am the one who speaks for them. And the Cleveland Site Center in this city is a failure because none of the young people, including me, are working. And what are you going to do to enhance and involve the visually impaired and blind community. Thank you, Ms. Scott.